Y'all get on in here. Boy, Houston, Texas, y'all got a problem. Boy, the police chief. Say, y'all, it's been approved. Say, y'all, listen, it's done been confirmed. James Prince run Houston. The mayor and the Houston Police Department say that they are getting calls that Charleston White is going to be speaking at event. James Prince. Houston Police Department sound like a bunch of pussies to me. I see why rapper lot run that shit. No wonder they mob tied. No wonder everybody got to check in, y'all. Now, I'm checking in with the police department. Police department told me, hey, man, you got a problem with Mr. Jane Prince. We don't want no problem. The city of the mayor's office called and said, hey, Mr. Charleston, we, we hear you got a problem with Jane Prince. Man, we scared of him. I swear to God, y'all, I just got the call from the Houston's mayor's office in the gang unit department in Houston, Texas. They are scared of fire the rap a lot. And this is what I'm telling the Houston police department. Y'all can suck my dick too. Fuck Houston. Nigga, fuck Houston, Texas. Now I'm spending my own goddamn money to come down there to talk to you poor ass, dumb ass motherfucking Houstonians. Nigga, fuck Houston. That go with the mayor, fuck the Houston mayor, fuck Houston police department. Now I rock with the sheriff's department. I rock with Harris County Sheriff. Yeah, yeah, y'all get in here. Everybody should stop supporting Houston, Texas. Don't do no shows in Houston. Fuck Houston, nigga. They, man, nigga, nigga, nah, man. They can't, the police can't provide no protection. They letting these rap a lot niggas uh, run rapid like they the real motherfucking mob. How is rap a lot records? Police department, y'all gonna let them just, just run rapid? Y'all letting these niggas do illegal gambling in a building where convicted felons got guns and alcohol. That's against regulations, Houston, in downtown. Man, I'm for the shame this city. Y'all done fucked up with me, Houston. I ain't never, I ain't never gave a fuck about Houston, no way. I swear to God, I ain't never liked nothing about Houston. I ain't never been no syrup sipping nigga. I ain't never liked DJ Screw music. None of that shit. None of that shit. None of that shit. We was always with the Crippin' nigga. The Houston niggas was never really gangster. They was always players. Houston didn't get gangster till later on when the niggas start joining the gangs later. But when we were really Crippin' and blood, Houston wasn't with that shit. Ask them niggas in prison in the boys' home. All the niggas that claim gangs in Houston got put down in the juvenile system, nigga. Fuck you niggas talking about. We drawing a line, nigga. We don't want to be down with you niggas no more in Houston, nigga. It's, it's Dallas. Damn. Now, I got online yesterday in character bull, bullshitting. That nigga ain't stopped the motherfucker thing, nigga. Yeah, yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all just take anything and run with it. Let me call Miss Pap. Yeah, yeah, let me call Miss Pap right now. Miss Pap. Because we want to promote the event. Yeah, yeah, I knew I was going to get that motherfucking event promoted. This is what you call big boy shit, nigga. Mass, mass production. J Prince, bitch ass, ain't stopped nothing. He didn't run nobody. I don't know why DJ Academics them got me. Nigga, I said, fuck Houston Police Department. I said, fuck J Prince. And I said, fuck Houston. I didn't say them niggas stopped nothing. I didn't say Houston Police Department called and told me nothing. Well, this nigga. is a youth mentoring day. This is not a Charleston White comedy show. No, this is not a comedy show. I don't know where they get that lie from. Me neither. And I don't know why they I tell that the, lie. I wish the bloggers and all these internet um, bloggers, whatever they is. DJ Academics, Say Cheese TV. Yeah, they are in, uh, not, um, I don't know who they is, but people coming in my inbox, um, asking, asking questions, asking to do interviews. First of all, I don't do interviews. First of all, this is the kids. That yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on Charleston White, getting online. Doing what he does, saying fuck Houston and call not this person, call not J Prince, rap a lot and everything like that to get attention on himself. And before we get into it, I first do want to shout out Miss Pap for everything that she is doing in the Houston community, the uh, Parents Against Predators program and anything that she is doing, salute to her most definitely. I think they said she's been doing this like 17 years. She doesn't do interviews. She's not in it for the publicity or nothing. She's doing it from the heart, going to the courtrooms and all. Prayers up to her and continuing her mission most definitely. 
but Charles the White, and I had at least a description from his Instagram page, but I seen this hit all the blogs. You see what he said now? He didn't say this and he didn't say that, but he clearly did. I try to tell people, bro, this is what he does to get attention to himself. Take it or leave it. And like I tell people all the time, bro, Jay Prince is not worried about Charles the White. Houston police is not worried about Charles the White. The chiefs, the departments, the mayors, none of them are worried about Charles the White and care what he got going on. He doing this because he know the rap and hip hop blogs and the media be thirsty for controversial content. So he gonna get online and give them what they want. He got the trick bag going on. I know the blogs is gonna post me and I'm not held accountable for what I say because hey, that nigga clearly said that them people reached out to him in the beginning. But With Mr. Jane Prince, we don't want no problem. The city of the mayor's office called and said, hey, Mr. Charleston, we, we hear you got a problem with Jane Prince. Man, we scared of him. I swear to God, y'all, I just got the call from the Houston mayor's office in the gang Houston department in Houston, Texas. They are scared of fire the rap a lot. And this is what I'm telling the Houston police department. Y'all can suck my dick too. Fuck. He said that. And you can hear it for yourself. People are still going to try to find a way to make sense of it. If you are entertained by Charleston White, be entertained. At times, there's some things he say that is funny to me. Okay, that shit was funny. Then a lot of times he does cross the line and go overboard, and it turns into out of line disrespect. Once again, in this case here, just blatantly being disrespectful. On top of that, I will say at times he does give a message that people can hear, people can use to their life, especially to you. But at the same time, when you say something, you said it, my nigga, it is what it is. Don't blame it on the blogs now because you painted a narrative and let them believe something, and then they come out, oh, well, dang, that ain't what's really going on here. If you lead with the promotion of the programs and the events, tell people tap in, it can shed some light on it. But when you come on here with the rhetoric, what do you think the people gonna focus on? Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay